Hello everyone, Bloodless Knight here. It's another World of Tanks video, and do I have something for you? I I still don't know what happened in this mess. I just did this match. I still don't even know what happened. So here I am on Lakeville with the M5Y, the one American Tier 10 tank that came in that has been a real letdown to everyone because of just how it is. I mean, look, it's the weirdest, freakiest looking tank ever, too. Look at that. Just, it's an alien. So, I, it's the weirdest, it's the weirdest, ugliest looking tank, too. But another thing that's disappointed, it was supposed to be the tank to compete against the Kranbon for the hills. But, as you can see, with, when you look at the turret, you can still see the cupola. And not to mention that an artillery hits this thing, you lose all your crew. So, let me pause it here for a moment, just to continue. So several things happen, just a moment, so let me do this. So that's another problem that's a major problem with this, is artillery hits it, you have three crew members, or how many do you have, four? You got two of them sitting in the turret, driver here, and the loader like right here underneath. That's it. It's like the moment our artillery hits you, it'll kill three of your crew members instantly. So that was a huge issue. Now, what just happened as you just saw, well, the Jagdpanzer U100 just instantly died. He was all the way over here. There's his corpse right there. Apparently, he got spotted instantly off the bat. He had broadside. They instantly shot him and killed him. So not even a minute in the match. 30 seconds, he's gone. So already we're down one tank and one powerful tank destroyer, so that's not a good start. Our Sheridan's just now moving, so that was another reason why. So how the Jagdpanzer died is one of the light tanks got in range. And according to this one, you'll see it, it was the Manticore, as I'll point out, because we're going to see another light tank, the EBR, pop up eventually. So instantly that happens. Chat's going crazy. Yes, there's... Uh, forgive the uh, language. I have no control over it. But chat's going crazy. They're like, what happened? How did the Agpanzi 100 die? And I'm just minding my own business over here. Here's our EBR. comes this way. And they're all wondering why he went that way. I'm here with the Udes. And I'm like, okay, Super Conqueror's there. I pop out. Don't see anyone on the left. So I'm like, hmm. EBR just guns it. As soon as the EBR goes, I'm like, screw it. I go. And then shortly after, here's the Udes. So we, the two, all three of us decide to run forward, and we find out no one's there. As soon as they find out, the Stratz von 103 and the Object 2684 start coming in the middle, too. So there's Super Conqueror. We still see no one up. You know what? I'm just going to poke up a little further, see who else I can find, because it looks like none of the enemy team went this way. Ever. That is a big mistake on this map. Never leave this flank open, because a lot of times the base gets capped. Oh, here's the Amex 30B. Oh, TVP, EBR. Oh, 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 oh dear. So quickly do that, get a shot on TVP, and then I'm like, I better back up. Here's the EBR. Ours is in trouble. He dies. Their EBR is one shot, but gets away because I don't know in time. Here's the lion. Lion pops up. Nope. But luckily I blocked the shot. So as I continue backing up, I get hit by the lion eventually, and then I get in this position right here. Udes gets on the top hill, and now it's just myself and the Udes with only two to three, because here's the grill, backing us up with the artillery. And we're like, oh. I'm sitting here going, that's a failed shot in the lion I just did there. So I'm sitting here going, uh-oh, we're in trouble. It's just the two of us, and here they all come. Here comes the badger now. We're like, oh, crap. Oh, and there's the manticore, by the way. Udes turns to do it. I help up to cover the Udes to prevent the lion from getting him. Hit the lion. Lion takes a shot. Now lion's a one shot, and he decides to back off, especially when he sees me still lingering around. One hold. Here comes the ST2. <laughs> ST2 plays a smart. He's like, I have the high ground. Yes, Anakin, I do. Backs off. And then I'm like, okay. So he backs off. He gives me an opportunity to actually pop my turret out, since it's hard to hit the cupola actually, to try and get some shots on the badger and ST2, which thankfully. As you'll see here in a moment. Boom, right there. So I get the badger, and then I start. This is what I start doing. Where are you at, badger? Here I am. 
boom, pop another shot. So I start taking shots on the Badger, SD2, Lion, I mean, just they're all here, and yet they're struggling. I made a mistake, they were able to get my back half, hit me twice, but they're just struggling taking myself and the Udes out, especially with two tank destroyers behind us. Two of which being a really hold down armor door stop, the Stratzvon 103B, and an extremely powerful object 2684. So they're finally hitting the Stratzvon, but that 268, there goes the AMX 30. I hit his cupola to get rid of him. There's the SCH 2. He's wondering if it's a good idea. He'll eventually back off because he realizes he can't get the gun depression to get that down. So now I'm poking around and I'm starting to get the Badger. Badger, as you can see, is firing gold. I'm not. So there goes the lion. And still, I'm right here with half my health. Uda is still pretty good. And ooh, that hurt. Really needed that. Now the 264 moves in. There's the TVP. I find out I can get his back. Got his back. So now TVP's a one shot. We're all moving in. It's just the 183 and the ST2, which. By the way, I have no idea where the 183 came in. Even when playing this match, I had no idea where he came in. He's just, I'm here. 268 moves in, gets a shot there. I fail to get the ST2, and then I'm like, oh, I'm dead here because TVP's far in gold. He's right there. Woo! Got a lucky break right there. 4,000 damage, 1,100 assists, 1,200 blocks. And a tank that's just disappointing to a lot of players. So he comes up. He's getting ready to shot. Two six against that, and I decided I'm going to wait because I figured the TVP should have reloaded by now. Sure enough, think got him. So there goes the TVP. It's amazing what you can do when you actually play the tank and know what it does. I know the TVP has a 22 second reload. So I tracked the 183. 183 is finished off, then it's just the ST2, and here he goes for the kill. <laughs> The rest of the team finally pushed up the other side because the entire enemy team realized their mistake and all moved back. So there they go. All the tanks are now dead. We win 15 to 5. 4,600 damage, 1,500 assist. I mean, that was just... That was just crazy insane with myself and the Udes just sitting in that location and they couldn't do anything about it. So that was a major problem that the enemy team did. They first left this entire flank open, the 1-2 line. They left this whole entire valley completely open. That was a big mistake. As soon as they realized that all of a sudden, here they all come. I mean, look how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nearly the entire team rushes back and then they leave the other flank open with very little to defend it. 268 stayed there. The Artie was behind the mouse. Mouse is now by himself. EBR tries to gun for the Artie because he realizes what's going on, but it gets obliterated. I mean, that was a big mistake on the enemy team's part, and we capitalized it with myself and the Udes sitting in a very powerful spot for us to easily dominate this match and give our team the advantage despite losing a tank within the first 30 seconds. So let me know what you feel or how you think about this. I actually had a real good time. That's actually a good picture. Boink. I love this. That I mean, I instantly just came in here and started recording right after this match because I just went, how did that happen? And just, just how? So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, give a like uh, if you like this video, and hit that subscribe button to find out to find more videos of me for when I'm doing more now. Da da da. Yes, I have a speech problem. Don't worry, I'm fixing it. I can't fix it. <laughs> But yes, hit that subscribe button to follow me to uh, find out when I do more videos. It's uh, occasionally when I can. But yeah, so hit the subscribe. Help me out here to get my channel noticed. Because this is all I can do. I still can't stream. And give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And let me know what you think in the comments, what you think of this match. So thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe. And until then, I'll see you next time.